Hello guys, I hope you all like a new game from Heavy because I prepared a video guide for skills. So guys, in this video I will tell you how to evolve your skills to the next level, which of them are better and what does it mean. And of course how a video guide can be without tips. Ok, we have two kinds of skills, weapons and supplies for them. So if you want your bricks to become dumbbells or soccer ball evolve to quantum balls, you need its supply skill. For example, your brick has 5 stars and to evolve it to dumbbell, you need fitness guide. It should be at least 1 star. So as you could guess, this means evolution. But we have a weapon or better say weapons which don't have a supply skill, type B and type A drones. Anyway, you can make a next level drone. So what do you need? You need both drones and they must have 5 stars to become destroyer. If in case with other weapons their supply skills may have 1 star, then in case with drones you must have them both 5 stars to get destroyer. After you will make destroyer, you will have an empty slot for a new weapon and as it doesn't have a supply skill, you can choose a supply that doesn't evolve any weapon. Now about supplies that don't evolve any weapons. Actually, they evolve weapons, but they evolve your main weapon and about main weapons, how to evolve them, which of them is better to use and what weapon is doing hard damage, my friend will tell you in his video guide, the link on his video you will find in description. The first skill you must have is Dumbbell. Besides the fact it's doing high damage, Dumbbells push enemies back. Very useful effect when you want to pass a really hard chapter. To get it you will need bricks and fitness guide. Next weapon skill you must have, Quantum Balls. When tons of enemies are going on you, they do very high damage to the first rows of enemies. So in combination with Dumbbells, they will let you to survive the biggest waves of enemies. You're probably wondering how do I know which weapon is doing higher damage. In game you can see statistics for total damage that your weapons have done. That's how I found weapons which doing better damage than others. Ok, high damage is good of course, but there are skills that doesn't do high damage, but its skill very useful. Guardian skill will save you from enemies projectiles, it nullify bullets. Handy skill at the beginning will help you to pass chapters like 4, 5, which have many shooters. Next skill is Force Field. This skill is not doing high damage compared to other weapons, but at the beginning, like first 5 or 10 minutes, depends on your stats, will help you to gain more skills, as you can go straight on enemies. But remember guys, if your attack isn't enough, instead of killing enemies, you will be receiving damage. Lightning Emitter, or better say its next level, Thunderbolt Power Cell, is doing the highest damage. I played a lot of times and damage it was doing was always the highest. So having it with quantables, dumbbells will let you to pass hard chapters. Balls and dumbbells will be killing enemies near you and ball strikes will be killing enemies on distance. And there's also another weapon that kills enemies on distance, RPG, or its next level, Shark Maw. I found it very useful against bosses, if in the first 5 chapters I didn't have problems with them, in chapter 6 it was kinda hard to kill them. Molotov looks impressive, especially its next level, I even thought it's really powerful weapon. But later, after analyzing my runs, watching damage statistics, I just avoid this skill. You see, it's not a close range or long range weapon, if force field is useful at the beginning, then Molotov is just doing good damage, but I better choose bricks, balls, which are more useful and doing hard damage. We just don't have enough slots to use all weapons, so you must choose skills that are more appropriate for a chapter you're playing. To say there's a set of skills that will let you to pass any chapter, I cannot really say, because for example in chapter 5, I had problems with shooters, so Guardian was very useful here, and at the beginning my attack allowed me to use force field skill. I could easily kill enemies just going on them in the first 3 minutes, but in chapter 7 my stats don't allow me to do this, so for me force field skill in chapter 7 is just useless. So to pass a chapter you need to know skills, their advantages and disadvantages compared to others, and of course you need to have minimum stats to be able to pass a chapter. You can see in my videos where I show how I pass chapters that I use different skills. Of course, most of them are the same, but I change one or three skills. Ok, let's get back to skills. Trill shot and its next level, Whistle Arrow. I must say it's a good skill, it's doing a good damage to many enemies. The reason why I don't choose it often, because as I said, we don't have enough slots and most chapters I've passed so far, I just need skills like Dumbbells, Balls, Force Field. And the last weapon is Boomerang. Sometimes I choose it, because Magnet evolved this weapon and Magnet is the first skill you must have to get skills much faster. Boomerang is not a very useful weapon, but if you want all your weapons to be like this, in most cases you just have to choose Boomerang, unless you're using drones or a baseball bat. 
And beside weapon and their supply skills, we have two skills which you'll be getting after all your skills will have the highest level. They give gold and heal 30% health. Ok guys, there were all skills about main weapons and their supply skills, my friend will tell you. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe, do not miss more useful videos.